good morning students previous video i already uploaded internal control system so now let us discuss one more concept concept you have types of documentation in the internal control system so we have a, there are so many documentation types we have flow chart basis narrative basis internal control questionnaire basis and another one it is risk and control matrix policies and procedure manual sound documentations so these are all the major documentations types of documentation we have so internal control documentation can take various form so in that uh, i had already told that flow chart policy procedure manual narrative descriptive it, it is a basically the indian auditing standards are extend to documentation may vary depending on the complexity so it will be the very one organization to another organization why they are making the documentation ultimately it is a one of the evidence purpose they made the document later on whatever the precaution and whatever the actions plan they have to be taken in the in every organization so that is a major documentation so once we can made the document based on the documentation you have to process the each and every one controlling the system aspects so now let us discuss the first documentation flow chart basis auditor use flow chart to describe the flow of activity through process as well as relevant documentation the main output of flow chart is process map graphical representation event performed by a group of people if any performance it is showing the graphical format why we are showing the graphical format it is easy to understanding the whatever the information or whatever the uh, internal records so that flow chart basis yearly or annually or quarterly they are representing the data so that reason only we have to consider the flow chart documentation a process map save time communication and uh, confirming business process with management so another one of the major uh, documentation the the narrative descriptive the narrative descriptive process written form without graphical representation it is a basically in a written format only they are giving the report or making the documentation it is useful to uh, detail existing participant thereby minimizing the potential misunderstandings so if there any misunderstanding in that so that it will be clearly as given the narrative description so ultimately which can easily analyze it a next thing internal control questionnaires the questionnaires related to identification and evaluation of internal control so carefully structured logically sequenced series question that help management and internal auditor document process and highlights control gaps strength and weakness within the system so question is it will be that given it is given the ultimately uh, we can get together whatever the strength and weakness of the document as well as in our controlling system so which can easily analyze in the questionnaires aspects and uh, fourth one risk and control matrices risk and control matrices are link control with control objective related to risk they are designed both the document risk control and the facilitate evaluation design the effectiveness of control the system so this is the another one of the major thing we already discussed in that controlling system only our internal part only we are designing our document risk purpose we also follow the internal control matrices so that is another one of the documents and fifth one, policy and procedure manual if there any clearly the some of the organization the clearly given the guideline to the uh, business people are making the business strategy or operation level as well as organization level as well as systematic level it, it will be helpful uh, whatever the guideline majorly to be follow and finally sound documentation a best practice include the flow chart narrative descriptive icq risk control matrix a sound documentation it will be the standardized documentation so standardized documentation always to be maintain the policy and procedure manuals so ultimately this document also to be helpful to our internal controlling process so these are all the major six documents in the internal control system so now let us go for next content evaluation evaluation of 
evaluation of internal control component evaluation of internal control component so here we have a uh, there are so many control uh, environment or component we have or i had already told control environment that is a, that's the same thing we will be that fulfill that uh, like uh, control environment under that uh, the start with the board of director and management or organization basically our integrity and ethical value importance of board of director management philosophy and operating style a commitment to financial reporting commitments authority responsibility human resources it is purely related only for the human resource resource concepts so here it is we have a major level of management also has to be concentrate on the top level middle level and lower level management people you has to control the uh, majorly our commitment or policies to be facilitate all the controlling system and third one it second one it is risk assessment every entity faces the risk from external and internal sources must be assessed and managed it is identification and analysis of relevant risk to achievement of objective so the basically uh, whatever the risk will be that arise that risk you should be that identifying and assessing it how do you people are assessing like importance of financial reporting objective identification and analysis financial reporting is assessment of fraud risk the fraud risk means financial reporting objective the financial reporting objective ultimately only one single objective you have to meet that so that importance only you have to be follow and third one it is control activity must be evaluated in the contest management directive address risk associated with established objective for each activity so that activity we will be that concentrate on that element of control activity control activity linked with the risk assessment selection and development of current activity information technology activity so these are all the major activity we will be the control over in the internal controlling system and finally information and communication the information needs and information control management communication the information nothing but you have to maintain for the database the database we will be that financial and non financial related financial thing all the accounting information as well as all the financial data and non financial information it is nothing but whatever the human resource information and other whatever the management information has to be maintained in the information communication and another one communication with outside parties uh, outside parties in the vendor either it is outside people either it is uh, any management people or any other business people you used to use to outside people communication ultimately it is affect on achievement of financial reporting objective or communicating with outside people so that is uh, majorly you have to follow the timely flow establishing channel communication standards using both operating financial information and management decision so these are all the thing uh, you have to maintain in the communication with outside parties and finally monitoring is define the process of assessing quality system performance over time it's accomplished through ongoing monitoring activity so whatever the activity we will be there that activity finally you have to be monitoring the concept that monitoring is systematically performing the databases that is purely helpful for the management people so next class let us discuss remaining concepts